Hey YouTube, how's it going? Venomman20 here tonight, and tonight we have the big one. A few weeks ago I uploaded a video of a common viper that you guys have probably never heard of. Title was something like that. It was about the Tremaceras panaceus, or the flat-nosed pit viper, or what I like to call them, the ashy pit viper. Uh, tonight we have the big female that I talked about inside that video, because the ones I showed you were pretty small, this one has a little bit of size, huge head, so let's go ahead and take a look at her. All venomous snake handling in this video is performed by a professional. Please don't try anything you're about to see at home. So hopefully this goes okay sitting down. Never sit down with this snake. They can sometimes be a little jumpy and a little bitey. So we'll find out soon enough. So here she is. This is the big girl right here. She is a beautiful specimen, but she is chunky, aren't you? You're a big girl. And they do get bigger than this. But she does have beautiful colors. I absolutely love her coloration. So like I said, this is the flat nose viper, also known as the ashy pit viper, also sometimes referred to as the habu. Um, a lot of Southeast Asian, a lot of Asian snakes are referred to as habus if they're a venomous viper. This is a venomous viper from Southeast Asia. So these guys inhabit a pretty large range from my understanding. Uh, they are pretty cool. They do look arboreal, but they're not very arboreal. So on my channel, a lot of times I actually deal with extremely rare vipers and I deal with snakes that uh, aren't typically seen or kept or bred or worked with in captivity. This snake is not that. I also work with sometimes extremely venomous snakes like your black mambas, taipan, stuff like that. This snake is also not that. This snake is just a very interesting snake to me. They're kind of cool, they're kind of neat, they don't require a lot of care. They're pretty easy, um, sometimes they're a little snappy. Uh, they're just a little bit interesting. I love the bulbous head though. They have that big old chunky head. I'm gonna see if I can't bring her in just a little bit closer. So these are sexually dimorphic, and what I mean by that, a male would never get this big. So that is a pretty good looking animal, I would say so myself. Try to get my secondary camera, see if I can't get focused in on that head a little bit better. There we go. But she's just a good looking little snake. I like this animal a lot. She's kind of pushing her head down. That could be a threat, kind of a, a display thing. That could be her trying to dig down into the leaf litter. So like I said, these snakes do not climb very much. They are more fossorial. Um, Typically in my care, I've noticed that they enjoy the ground floor. They enjoy hiding underneath stuff, underneath logs and underneath leaves and underneath their fake plants. They just really seem to enjoy that. I've been thinking about going completely bioactive with this animal, but I haven't yet. So I still have two males and then I kept the other light colored female. And I do believe I'm gonna stick with these guys. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I have no reason for keeping them. Like, as far as rarity, it's not a snake that you're going to see commonly in the pet trade or the private sector, I should say. I should never refer to this animal as a pet. But I do believe that's mainly because they're kind of spunky and they're not extremely gorgeous as far as vipers go. But I mean, I love this animal. This is just a beautiful snake. Very light complected, very pretty. Big old head, I love that big old head. Like I said, they get a little bit bigger than this. But I will try to give you some updates on her so that you can kind of see her grow. Man, her tail is absolutely gorgeous. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll try to get a good picture of that tail tonight after I get done filming this video. And I will try to get that uploaded as well so you can go over there and check that out. Because my Instagram's kind of lacking follower-wise. Not trying to become Instagram famous, but it would be nice to have, you know, at least a couple of you guys over there. But uh, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed her. Like I said, she is venomous. She is something you need to treat with a little bit of respect. But all in all, as you can see, she's pretty calm. She isn't too bad. She's actually doing quite well uh, compared to what I thought she was going to be. So might end up reading these at some point. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, just don't really know what the plan is. I just like the animal. You know, she's a, she's a very pretty snake. 
But I have a lot of new snakes coming in that I want to show you guys. I have a lot of really, really cool stuff. Some super toxic animals. So if you guys enjoyed the Venomous Snakes, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Show all your friends. really helps the channel out. Anyway, probably see you tomorrow with another video. Y'all have a great night.